Welcome back! Today I'm going to show you how to clean your portable washing machine. In order to do this, we will need three things. First off, we'll need some kind of rag or cloth. I like to use microfiber cloths, as they're very effective at like uh, getting the dust on the edges. You could alternatively just use a regular rag if you don't have microfiber cloth, and you could try to get like the little edges and stuff with um, a brush. Old toothbrushes, usually always available. Secondly, we will need some distilled vinegar. I use this one, it's distilled white vinegar. That's very effective. So usually you put a half a cup to this to one gallon of water, that's a great mixture. You can use pretty hot water, as hot as is comfortable for you, of course. Don't wanna hurt yourself. Make that mixture in some kind of bucket. I use this little one. If you don't have a bucket, what you could also try to use, it's just a little bowl or something. We don't really need a lot of vinegar to do this. The next thing that we need to do is then make sure that all the water is drained from the washer here. So since you're already at the sink, hopefully to get the water, just put on the drain and make sure all the water is out from the washer. Once that is done, we are ready to start the cleaning process. I like to start inside to just open everything up here and we will go at it with our mixture. Now, if you don't have vinegar at hand, you can always use soap. It's not going to be as effective. So we just go over the entire washer here. I don't need to do that on camera, I think. So I have one of these cheap uh, Chinese uh, semi-automatic washers here. So <laughs> I have two chambers, one for the centrifuge here and there's just one tub here for cleaning. I'm gonna go over this one too. Generally, I don't clean it with water afterwards because vinegar isn't that bad for your washer. Uh, if it's too strong, you might have some problems with your detergent as detergent is pretty base usually while vinegar is acidic, but this weak mixture, totally fine usually. Anyway, moving on here, let's close this up. So we'll just let this air dry. I'm gonna open it back up afterwards and we'll clean the outside as well. I mean, it's too stupid not to clean the outside once we already got this stuff out, right? A little vinegar water here. Just go over everything on the outside. Make sure you get the little edges and stuff. Lastly, we need to clean the lint filter. Now, this cheap Chinese thing does not have a lint filter. <laughs> so um, I can't do that. But usually they are located here at the bottom. You can just pull them out. See, like on this one. Clean those as well. If they're really dirty, you could try to clean them in your sink and then just put them back. Like I said, I don't like to clean over it afterwards. I just leave the vinegar in. But if you want to, you can go over it with some clean water afterwards. If you like this, I wrote a whole uh, article with some more detail. If you like this type of videos, I have a bunch more on my channel. A lot of stuff about laundry and organizing clothes. So if you're into that, consider subscribing. Otherwise, thanks for watching this one and I'll see you around.